Donald Trump's first news conference, some 63 days after the election, was always going to be big news. But it became even more significant after the publication of unverified but explosive allegations claiming Russia had colluded with Trump and that it had compromising material on him. I saw the information, I read the information outside of that meeting. Uh, it's all fake news, it's phony stuff, it didn't happen. Trump responded by hitting out once again at the intelligence agencies who he suspects are behind the leak. Maybe the intelligence agencies, who knows, but maybe the intelligence agencies, which would be a tremendous blot on their record if they in fact did that. And at the news organizations that publish the allegations in detail. I think it's a disgrace. And I say that, and I say that, and that's something that Nazi Germany would have done and did do. I think it's a disgrace. That information that was false and fake and never happened got released to the public. As far as BuzzFeed, which is a failing pile of garbage, writing it, I think they're going to suffer the consequences. They already are. And as far as CNN going out of their way to build it up, he didn't the way, finish the sentence, but he government made government sure that time. that network right. wasn't getting no, a question. Not you. Not you. Can you give us a chance? Your you're, you're, you are attacking our news organization. Your organization. Can you give us a chance Let's to go. ask a question, sir? Go ahead. On the stage were piles of documents the president-elect will soon sign, handing over control of his organization to a trust. But the new arrangements outlined to reporters by his lawyer are unlikely to satisfy many critics. The trusts will be controlled by his two sons, a fact many will still see as a clear conflict of interest. These papers are all just a piece of the many, many companies that are being put into trust to be run by my two sons. And I hope at the end of eight years I'll come back and I'll say, oh, you did a good job. Otherwise, if they do a bad job, I'll say, you're fired. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Of course, there's one thing that Donald Trump could do to try and allay some of the concerns about possible collusion with Russia and about conflict of interest. And that's to do what every president in modern history has done, release his tax returns. He was asked about that again. He said no. He said the people were not concerned because he won the election. James Bayes, Al Jazeera at Trump Tower in New York.